Hello again painters, it's Debbie from acrylicpouring.com back for another swiping experiment today. So you may have heard me mention a few videos ago about swiping and whether there was much difference whether you swipe across the colours or whether you swipe with the colours. So um, I thought I'd try a side-by-side -side experiment because that's the best way to find out. So I've got just three colours, um, orange, lemon yellow, cobalt blue and on this tile I will do them this way, on this tile I will do them this way and then we'll swipe both and see which works out and which, you know, what effect we get. I'm just going to simply swipe with white today. So let's see, which way did I say I was going to do it? I've forgotten already. Okay, well let's um, go horizontally. So start with a, a blue and here I'm going to go that way. So here I'm going to go that way. I think you'll see what I'm getting at. So there, orange, orange, and my yellow. So I'm expecting there to be, oh, something yucky there. Ew. Now that was interesting. Look what just came out, ah, oh, came out of my bottle, something gunky. Anyway, it's out, so let's carry on. Um, so I'm expecting to see a different effect. Because if I swipe, yeah, there's something gunky in this bottle. Let me see if I can get it out. There's another stringy bit just there. Let's pop that off for the time being. So if I swipe that way, the colours will mix. If I swipe this way, they'll, they'll mix a lot less. So it'll be interesting to see whether it affects the cells or whether it just affects the look that we get. So let's carry on. Orange. I do like this blue and orange together. Always makes me happy to see these two colours side by side. A bit more yellow. Hopefully we won't have any more gunky bits coming out of that yellow. I suppose that is one hazard if you're going to use the squeezy bottles and um, mix up paints in advance that it is possible that something will happen in the bottle if they sit for a while that causes some kind of reaction. Okay, a bit more blue. I'm going to cover both tiles today and not just worry about any runoff. I'm just going to go with it. Okay, this one I've obviously done them a bit narrower because I need to do a bit more just to fill up this one. Oop, yellow. Blue, one more orange. Okay, so I've got my white. Actually, I've got these the wrong way round because ideally I want to swipe in that direction. But hey, we'll see. It could make a big mess. So let's put some white across the top of each. Okay, and I've got these little paint chip cards I get from the DIY store. Obviously I buy them, I don't put them in my handbag when I'm going past. Yeah, I do. Only for the really ugly colours, not the nice ones. So, let's give it a go. I'm going to wipe off my little swipey stick between each one. So on this one, I'm going to go across the colours and let's see what happens. Looking nice. I need to do a little bit more on this side because I haven't quite got paint right to the edge. I swept in an awkward motion there, clearly. Let's see. Okay, that's good. Wow. So yeah, there's lots of stuff going on here. So with this one, it's slightly different. I need to just top up a little bit where the colours have bled through. Um, but I'm going to swipe in the direction now, so we'll see what difference we get with that. So I think you can see straight away the difference. The cells form exactly the same. Let me zoom in the camera a little bit and get a slightly better picture. There we go. 
So the cells swarm exactly the same. When you swipe the white over, you get the, the cells, the colours coming through. But on this one, the effect is very different to this one because here I've moved the colours over the top of each other and so therefore the cells have mixed. So here where I had the blue and the orange, I've got orange cells with a blue outline. Here I've got the blue and the yellow mixed much more together. Here I've got blue with orange. Here I've got um, blue with a yellow around the outside. And so it carries on. Here I've got some really nice ones at the bottom there. Whereas here, of course, we swiped with the lines, so they've mixed a lot less. So we do have you know, one little patch here. Oh, finger goes in it yet yeah, again. There's a really nice patch just there and again a nice patch just here. So I think this shows if you want to have much more in the way of distinct colours and less mixing then you swipe with your lines of paint. If you want to have a lot more you know action stuff going on colour is bursting through all over the place and a lot more of a random look then you want to swipe across the colours and mix them up all a little bit more. So I'm just going to take a minute to touch up these edges because I think these are keepers, you know, I like them. Um, I'll touch up the edges and then show you the details. So here they are dried, finished and varnished and I hope this has been really useful for you to see the difference between uh, swiping as to whether you lay your colours with or against the direction of the swipe. As you can see it creates very different looks. So thank you very much for watching the video, following along with me on the channel. If you haven't already you should subscribe, I've got some really great things coming up, uh, lots of great plans, some successful things, some crazy things and some things which of course just fail horribly and make us all have a great big laugh. So thank you very much. See you again soon.